A new Chaos Demons combat patrol box has been announced. Good news if you're a corn player, but perhaps not so helpful if not. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're talking Chaos Demons, and it seems that the next codex for Warhammer 40k is shortly to be coming. Both the Chaos Demons codex plus a fair few other things are going to be coming for pre-order next week. I aim to cover the new codex details and prices in a follow-up video, but I thought for now I thought we'd focus on this new Chaos Demons Combat Patrol, a very murderous and cornate box set, which I think is going to be pretty helpful for some, but perhaps less so if you collect the other deities. So Combat Patrol Chaos Demons will be coming for pre-order on the 27th of August. Previously all their Combat Patrol box sets have been £90, €120 Euros, or $150, and for that you do get a fair amount of miniatures it would seem, the 34 ones pictured here. Quite nice that Chaos Demons do actually get their Combat Patrol box releasing alongside the Codex, other armies such as Thousand Sons had to wait absolutely ages for theirs. The codex coming out and then the combat patrol box sets not being available for months and months after. In the box set there's a Bloodmaster HQ choice, the new heralds are rumoured to be able to allow you to reroll ones in combat, plus the corn one might have some sort of command phase ability. There's 20 blood letters, so basically two copies of the standard kit, they're pretty much always going to be the core of a corn force to be honest. Their big hellblades are rumoured to be strength 5, AP minus 2 and damage 2, so really quite brutal there and they're going to be a bit tougher and have a better demon save in the new decks. Then there's 10 Flesh Hounds, by far the most recent models in the box I believe. These guys weren't released all that long ago, generally fairly fast moving and okay melee that's alright at mauling infantry, though not that much else. Finally there's 3 Blood Crushers of Corn, technically I guess half the amount that they'd normally sell out of the box set that they have available for direct only on Games Workshop. They're Cornate Elite Cavalry, have been kind of underwhelming in the previous version of the Codex, hopefully they'll get something to help them out in the new one. Overall, adding it up, it doesn't seem to be the worst deal in the world for new Combat Patrol sets. In theory, this would set you back around about $273, so if you'd be able to pick it up from Games Workshop for $150, that's around about $123 worth of saving. Not bad if you did want these specific kits, though of course these Combat Patrol sets might tempt you into buying something that you might not have got otherwise. In general though, as combat patrol sets go, the discount does seem pretty great. If you did buy all of these separately from Games Workshop, it would be 46% less than that. And as Games Workshop's combat patrol sets go, that's actually on the fairly generous side. Typically their discounts tend to range in the 30-40% to kind of range, so getting a big 46 is actually really quite solid. For anyone who is wanting to start Demons of Corn, this does seem like a pretty good start to be honest. And you might be able to double down with even more discount if you can get it through a third party retailer like Element Games linked in the video description or other places around the world. In terms of how good a box it is for Chaos Demons in general though, by far the biggest feature is that it is a corn box set and this is going to be good for some players but worse for others. If you're collecting Zinch Demons or Nurgle Demons it's not going to help you whatsoever, it's only going to help out for the Servants of the Blood God though I guess could be a fairly cheap way to get another element in your army if you are going the multi-god route. In terms of sculpts in the box, they are all Games Workshop's plastic kits, but I would say that the blood letters and the blood crushers are a bit on the older side, at least compared with the flesh hounds, though I still think that they do pretty fine for basic foot troops with those ridiculously enormous massive demon hellblades. We don't know the points cost for the new Chaos Demons Codex, but just going by the elite stats and abilities for what they might well be getting in the new book, I would guess that this is probably going to be more than 500 points worth of models. It's not that often in these combat patrol boxes that you get basically 5 different individual units, and also a character to boot. I'd say if you were thinking about getting into Demons of Corn, it does seem like it's a pretty reasonable pickup. I think it might remain to be seen whether or not it's worth getting in multiples or not though. Having a couple of squads of blood letters I don't think is the worst thing as the basic troops of the army. It's nice to have the blood crushers in there, but I think that the main thing is those flesh hounds, if it is actually worth running them in multiple squads in the same army, then all well and good, but if they do remain as much of a niche unit as they are at the moment, then that could be a pretty major factor from dissuading people from getting this box. I do feel like this box might be a bit of a mixed blessing though for Gale Steam and players. Perhaps the most telling thing is the title of the box set. It isn't just Combat Patrol Corn Demons, implying that there might be a box coming for each one of the deities. The box is simply called Combat Patrol Chaos Demons, implying that we're probably not getting a different one for Nurgle, Zinch and Slanesh. 
Demons are one of the armies in 40k where they're basically four different mini armies merged together in one. Kind of similar to Drukhari in that way. It means that if Games Workshop comes out with a box set for one of the many sub-factions, then that box set might be kind of useless to other players that aren't going to run that specific one in their force. Previously, Chaos Demons had four different start collecting boxes, one each for Korn, Zinch, Nurgle and Slanesh. And I must admit, I did think that all of these were really quite good, particularly the Zinch one that you can see on the right. They are in a bit of a weird place at the moment. Currently, the Zinch box and the Slanesh box are on their web store still. No real implications that they might be going anywhere, but Games Workshop does have a bit of a habit of taking things down without too much notice and just putting things on last chance to buy. The Corn one and the Nurgle one are already gone. Kind of particularly annoying if you're playing Nurgle in particular. I think that the Nurgle one might have been taken down to be replaced by that Vanguard Maggotkin of Nurgle set for Age of Sigmar, which features a lot of models that don't directly translate over to 40k. It's possible that the Zinch and the Slanesh boxes might only stick around until Games Workshop releases alternate products for Age of Sigmar. So basically, if you did want one of those two sets, it might well be worth thinking sooner rather than later. I think it's already been a bit of a shame to lose the Nurgle one, and would be a shame to lose the other ones as well. Having these nice value box sets that build a whole bunch of the models from the faction, and are both usable in Age of Sigmar and 40k, seemed like it was a real asset to hobbyists. It would have been nice if they replaced all of them with their own individual combat patrols for Warhammer 40k, though I can understand why they might choose not to. As it goes, Chaos Demons as a faction in 40k do have plenty of dedicated players, but they're certainly not one of the most played armies in the game at the moment. I can understand why they wouldn't release more than one combat patrol for a slightly niche faction, particularly when they haven't released multiple combat patrols for some of their really popular armies like, say, Orcs and Necrons, who have a whole ton of absolutely dedicated players. In any case, I'll be interested to hear what you guys have to say about it. Is the very good percentage saving and the decent chunk of models in the box on the corn side enough to be worth it? Or do you feel like it's a bit of a shame that they're not releasing updated versions of the start collecting boxes for things like Zinch and Nurgle and Slanesh? If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to All Specs Tactics, where I'll certainly keep the Demons content coming over the next week or so. It looks like as we're getting the Demons Codex next weekend, I'll hopefully be doing a review of that shortly after it drops, so subscribe or check back later if you'd like to see that. Finally, if you were thinking about picking up any discount demons or anything, I would just like to briefly mention my Element Games affiliate link, which is linked down in the video description. Element Games is a discount retailer within the UK. They usually give 10-20% to off Games Workshop's models, so it can be a good way to save a bit of money when compared with Games Workshop. If you click the link below before buying anything, a small amount goes to help support All Specs Tactics without costing you any more whatsoever. It can just be a way to help support the channel on things that you are planning to pick up anyway. For people over in the USA and Canada as well, I do also have an Amazon link down there too. That one works in much the same way. Click the link, order literally anything off Amazon, and a small amount goes to help support All Specs Tactics. Again, can be a way to help out if you were thinking about buying something anyway. In any case, an absolutely massive thank you for listening. And I'll hope to see you guys next time.